Well, you make the Harbaugh. Senator Hillary Clinton spoke at the Democratic National Committee's winter meeting today. She said she would not have gone into Iraq. This is a key statement of hers. She would not have gone into Iraq had she been president back in 2002 and 3, and vowed to end the war the soon as she gets into office, if she gets elected. And it shouldn't throw a lot of if there either. Ann Lewis, the senior advisor to Hillary Clinton's campaign. Ann Lewis is one of the heroes of the Democratic Party. She has fought the good fight for women's rights and all the good causes for years and years and years. I'm feeling more senior as And she's speak. Barney Frank's sister. Anyway, uh, Hillary Clinton, let's take a look at what she said this week, because I thought it was a brilliant piece of political burlesque. Let's take a look at it. And what in my background equips me to deal with evil and bad men? Funny joke. Jokes are important. I think Hillary has looked at the, at the, at the as they say in Massachusetts, the shape of the race decides the winner. She's yeah. running against eight or nine guys, it looks like, including a Barack Obama and Edwards and all the rest of them. And she says, I noticed one thing around this Democratic Party. Most people are women. I'm a woman. I'm playing my edge. Hey, she doesn't have many choices, by the way. It's not as if she can decide whether to run as a woman or as a man. But as she said, also in Iowa, I'm a woman. I'm a mom. But that's part of who I am. I want you to vote for me because of the person I am, because of the experience I have, and because of the direction I will lead this country. And boy, do we need that kind of leadership today. Dana Lewis, is this your time? Um, I, As a woman activist Democrat for all these years, is this your time? I'd like to say, as somebody who has watched for the last six years, is this country's gone in the wrong direction? You're this is to our this. time. As a woman, is this your time to get a woman in Chris, the White I House? I get the same answer she would have. I can't do it any other way. Okay. I, I know what I bring to this race. I know how I feel about what we're okay. doing. Okay. And I know what difference There's we There's a number about. of cards Hillary can play. She doesn't have to play gender. She can play the bill card. That's implicit as well. She can play experience in the White House with having worked there as, and worked there literally as first lady on a lot of issues for eight years. But she says, no, I think the card I'm going to play right now is we need change in 2008. And one way we can have dramatic change in the White House is to put a woman in there. And look at her surrounded by women. She tells the jokes. She says, we're in this together in a sisterhood. we got men to deal with. But, you know, we can win this one. You don't think that's a solidarity issue she's raising there? No, I think she's saying a number of things. But, by the way, on the same trip, I have also heard her say, you know what? I know how Washington works. I know how the White House works. I know how the Congress works. I'll be ready to do this day one. I get to the White House, I know how to make the change we need. You're not going to convince me. So let's stop arguing. I think she's out to get the women vote because she has a right to it because she's a woman. And you go for your, your people first. I'm not disagreeing with that. Okay. I want to get the votes, but I want to get everybody's vote. Well, let's not get greedy. But anyway, I ask you uh -oh. this. How does, she, how does she take on a Barack Obama without landing a punch? Now, we saw this week where Biden tried to land a compliment and got into trouble, right? So it's tricky business when you're up against a real premier a candidate like Barack Obama, who everybody likes. Absolutely. I think the best way you do this is you say, here's who I am. Here's what I bring to this race. You saw her this morning speak to the Democratic National Committee. You saw the tremendous response she got from the heart of the party when she said to people, we can do this. We can win this fight. And she said, I've been through a few campaigns. I know what it's going to take. I know what we got to do when we get there. That's what people want to hear. Is going to be a problem in this campaign? Absolutely. Is he going to behave himself? Bill Clinton has been around, first place, he's been around the world saving lives. Is he going to behave that? himself? He's going to do what he does best. Is he going to behave himself? Yes, Not he is. Not cause a publicity that gets her embarrassed. Well, he was out. You go ask Chuck Schumer and Rahm Emanuel how often they ask Bill Clinton to go out there and campaign for Democratic candidates. Well, he did, candidates. Well, right. he did he's, it. He's a he did it because people want to see him. Because he's a multitasker. He's going to behave himself, right? He's no bad publicity. Did well, you see that story in the, big, in the New York Times a couple months back about Bill Clinton better watch it, front page, top of the fold. You, you better watch it. You couldn't miss it. And I was interested to see that that was the most important news that the New York Times could have uh, was to try to write a story about people's private lives. But you know what? At the end of the day, you read the story and said, there's no there there. Guess what? That's the story. Do you think folks. the New York Times There's is going to no stop writing there, about there. this? No, I think Bill Clinton's going to continue doing his work, going around the world. So he's going to behave lives. himself. He's going to be out on the campaign trail. And he's going to behave himself for the, so that Hillary can be the first woman president. You're all going to be applauded. I, I think it would be great for the country if, this, if, this, if we were not once again distracted so by what I, you call private life. Right. And I think the way to avoid getting distracted is to have nothing there to distract us. Well, I agree with that. But we just spent how many minutes of this segment? Three minutes talking about there should be nothing to distract us? Why don't we stop talking about it and talk about the issues? Well, because I want to have some assurances.
is from people who I trust and like to spread the, spread the word. That Why don't you, you find better what watch he's it. been doing? Why don't uh, you see what he's done for the last I am watching, years. unfortunately. Anyway, thank you, Ann Lewis. My pleasure. Up next, how are the presidential campaigns dealing on the age of the YouTube? That's the age we're in right now. Anything you do now can be on camera. And later, Hall of Fame basketball.